The fourth developer beta of iOS 17 is here. Here is everything that's changed. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I'm going to walk you through all the changes and new features that are arriving as part of iOS 17 developer beta 4. Let's go ahead, grab my iOS 17 phone and jump into it. Here we are on my iPhone, running the latest developer beta of iOS 17. Let's go ahead and start off the new features in the Messages app. With iOS 17, Apple has a new UI for iMessage applications, just by tapping on that little plus button. And Apple has now changed many of these icons from the previous betas. Here is what it looked like in a previous beta of iOS 17. You can see Apple has really kind of updated them. Photos now just shows the Photos app. Camera shows the Camera app. Um, Apple Cache is up there now. Audio has a new background. Location has a green icon behind it. So just lots of changes in the iconography on the iMessage apps here inside of Messages with iOS 17. If we then jump over to Settings and go down to the new one for Standby, there's a new option called Show Preview on tap only. So it says standby can hide the preview of a notification until you tap on it. So basically a notification can come through, but it won't show anything. It won't show you a preview of what that notification is, like the text of a message, until you actually tap on it. So a new toggle that you can enable for standby mode. We're going to stay inside of settings and we're going to go to our airdrop settings. That's under general and then airdrop there's a new option that'll turn off the proximity sharing. So you can share things by bringing two devices together. You can toggle this on or off in developer beta four of iOS 17. While we are here in settings, I wanna point out there's a new home screen and app library icon that you can see there. Again, just for comparison's sake, if we bring over our previous generation device, our previous beta, home screen and app library there versus the new colorful one. So I think it looks a lot nicer on the new beta versus what it was before. Inside the TV app, small minor change here, the button right there center, Apple has changed it to match the background of the show that it's playing on. So here with Ted Lasso, it's a dark button. If we look at it on the previous beta, both of these are in dark mode, but you can see the button before was white. Now it's black, kind of minor, but it did change with this beta. Since we're talking about playing TV content here, what about inside a control center? Apple has finally changed the remote icon. So this is what the, uh, new, the new remote button layout is. So this is the old Siri remote, and if we look at the old button layout, that's what it was before. So finally tweaked it here just for the new remote here inside a control center on iOS 17 beta 4. This beta also includes a new animation for AirPlay. So this is what it looks like now. When we open that up, just kind of pops up from the little icon there, then expands nice and neat one more time, just so you can see it. Nope, it doesn't want to do it. There we go, got it to work for us there. This is what it looked like on the previous betas. You can go tap that, kind of just comes up from the middle. So just slightly different animation, basically kind of aligns it with the button there on the bottom. Finally, for sharing your mood and emotions inside of the health app, Apple has updated the wallpaper. It's now darker. So here again, both on dark mode, you can see the difference between the last beta and this one. So it's slightly different in how it's being shown. Darker background, I think it looks good. But otherwise, these are the same screen, just slightly updated UI here with developer beta four. So that's it. Those are all the changes that I found so far in the fourth developer beta of iOS 17. Apple will also be releasing the public beta of this update where you should see these similar changes. I will say, of all the developer betas, beta 4 has so far been rough in even only the last 12 hours. Literally, I have issues like going back in mail and stuff not opening correctly. It's been a bit buggy for me, but everyone's mileage is going to be different. Let me know how your thoughts are going on iOS 17. Are you trying it out? Are you holding off? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. You can also find me on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941 because all of my other handles were taken. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more iOS 17 coverage coming your way.